So I have a theme with my my uh, stock list, and my theme is basically revolves around, you know, if all five of these stocks do well, um, then we should see a continued move up for the broader markets, and it'll kind of play into my thesis of what I think is going to happen for the second half of this year. So my first one. Oh, you got some oil on there somewhere. My, no, I don't actually. But <laughs> number five, Fat Man Zoom is AMD. Okay. AMD has earnings on Tuesday after hours. We will be live for that, so make sure yeah. you guys are hitting that notification bell. AMD, I have this on the list for no other, no other reason other than the fact to, to see if we did get past the worst of the chip shortage. And if we did, then AMD should do extremely well. Yeah. You'll probably see this uh, carry over to, uh, you know, the automotive industry, you know, NVIDIA. It, it, we saw some some good numbers from Intel, but we've already kind of realized that seeing the earnings numbers from Intel doesn't give a, uh, doesn't really paint a picture of the broader uh, chip uh, makers. And so I think that AMD is going to be like that big, uh, er, that big earnings call uh, earnings report that we see that kind of like shed some light on what's going on with the chip shortage and how are they handling that? Are they making money still be, even despite, in spite of a short shortage? And so I think that's going to be big for AMD. Number four for me is going to be Starbucks. And uh, for the, a lot of the same reasons that you said, but also because I was trying to find something within hospitality. Now you have um, this week. And you have McDonald's that I think that McDonald's could definitely do well too. Um, we saw some huge numbers from Chipotle and really just uh, re retail hospitality in general. Um, and I think that Starbucks, if we start to see even continued growth there, then obviously that helps us uh, understand what's going on, how much money are people are spending, how much are they going out and actually uh, spending money in Starbucks stores, all that stuff. So I think that that's going to be the mm -hmm. one to watch as well. Now, again, these are ones that I find the, the most important uh, for those of you who are watching, not necessarily ones that you should just go out and buy, but just definitely watch. I mean, it's the stock watch Sunday after all. So my next one, my number three uh, most important stock to watch, Fat Man Zoom, is going to be PayPal. <laughs> so there's two of them that were on your list that are on now on mine. Uh, but for a lot of the same reasons you were saying, we look at PayPal and how people transact uh, through PayPal and even Square businesses are opening back up. If we see great numbers out of PayPal, which we've seen during the lockdown because of online presence of businesses, but now they get to benefit from both, from both, not just online businesses, but uh, brick and mortar as well, which includes travel, um, you know, uh, hospitality, like we had, like I had mentioned with Starbucks. And so I think that that's definitely something uh, to, to watch for. If we see an increase in spending uh, in, in that form and fashion, I think that that's going to be a really key component of how we can uh, progress further throughout the rest of the year. The next one is going to be Tesla. Now, this was a real struggle for me because I actually thought about uh, choosing Ford over Tesla, but this just goes into the automotive group and kind of plays into that chip yeah. thing. How have they been able to combat the supply chain issues that they've been facing for the last six months now? And are we going to see some sort of reprieve of that? And people who order vehicles, or people want to go buy a new vehicle, can they actually do that? Because we're starting to see empty car lots all over the place. So I like to see uh, some good numbers out of Tesla you know, how have they been able to navigate through uh, the chip shortage? Are they are they still just as optimistic about the Model Y being the number one sold car in 2022? Like, are, are we going to see more of that? And so that's why I really like Tesla at number two. Let me say for as far as Tesla's concerned, um, I wanted it's 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 my probably my highest conviction stock right yeah. now for for the long term. Yep. But and it's definitely my largest position. Let's not forget 200,000 vehicles, a, a record last quarter, yes. 201 plus, um, and the Plaid beginning to selling to sell. Um, let's put. Let's also consider this as far as their numbers for the next quarter. Yeah. So Elon had said that they should be producing hundreds of uh, Model S's a week, and he said that by next quarter. You will be seeing thousands produced per week. So when you think about Tesla's numbers, maybe not next delivery numbers, next quarter delivery numbers, but the following delivery, um, following quarter, yeah, and into next year, and then adding Cybertruck to it next year, their number they're gonna blow out projections. I think when you're talking yeah. about thousands a week, and I watched a video on it that Marquez Lee Brown did, and it was 
awesome. Yeah. So there's not that it's perfect. There's there's some issues with it um, that he was concerned about, but nothing that they can't fix and not going to make it better. So I just want to point that out. They're going to be they're going to be ramping up production really quickly. So that's a great one. Yeah. I, um, I wanted to kind of just address something that was said here. So, uh, so Andre was mentioning that I don't want to go catch on fire in a Tesla, or run into a wall. The thing of it is, is that. <laughs> That Tesla is the one that makes headlines when cars catch on fire. You they have no do. idea how many other v- major manufacturers vehicles catch on fire. It's crazy. They just don't make the news. Mike Kim's uh, Lexus caught on fire. Yeah, and that's a Toyota. So yeah. like, you know, largest auto manufacturer GM in the world. just had one like a week ago. Right. Catch and on fire. Nobody bats an eye. But when Tesla when it happens with a Tesla, everybody freaks out. So, anyways, yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, I think that Tesla is definitely going to be a uh, a big one to watch uh, this week. Also, um, my my number one stock, Fat Man Zoom, and you're gonna laugh because it's Amazon. I picked Amazon too. Um, <clears throat> And the reason that I picked Amazon as my number one was because of the amount of spending that I want to see from from the U, from U.S. spenders. Uh, you know, this should be interesting. We've talked about, and I've emphatically said, you know, habits were formed when when uh, people were forced to use e-commerce to buy, to purchase things, even when it came down to necessities like groceries and that sort of thing. If Amazon knocks us out of the park, and this was actually a, a hard one for me too, because I almost picked Shopify, but they're they're in the same. Yeah, thing. I almost picked Shopify too. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think that when we look at Amazon, and you know, we've said that this is a four thousand dollars stock. If this, uh, if they come in and knock it out of the park again, I mean, last quarter it was a monster quarter, record quarter for them, and it was expected to be slow last quarter. So I think that if we look at this. And, and say, can they do it again? Can they do it in a time where everybody was expecting uh, consumers to be out spending money outside of e-commerce? Can Amazon crush this yet again and beat last quarter? And if they do, I think that we see a huge move out of them. And I think that all five of these together, is, I think I was trying to pick the most well-rounded list uh, to kind of determine how we end up shaping up for the rest of the year. Yeah, so there you guys have it. Five stocks we both, we each are looking at this week that we're just excited about. Yeah. Now, we'll follow up on these as we go out through the list. But guys, if you're interested in the stocks we're watching, we actually send out a free watch list of five stocks we're watching every morning before the market opens. The link is in the description. Click on it. It'll take you to onlychaos.com. You can get access to our free watch list Monday through Friday before the market opens. So check that out.